What's up guys, welcome back to Chris Long Vlogs and welcome to Montenegro. We're on the tender right now. Look, literally, this is the tender boat. The ship is just here. We just got off the gangway. You can see it right behind me. All the guests are coming off as well. And we're gonna explore Qatar today. First time I've been here, first time in this country. Already the scenes are looking very vibrant. And with these two clowns today, Federico and Daniel, we're gonna, these two have made their YouTube debut now. So we're just passing ways from the ship and we're slowly making our way to the mainland. Hello, explorer of the seas on this very slightly rainy, cloudy, gloomy day. Luckily for us, the rain has stopped. Unfortunately, I did forget to bring my umbrella, so I may end up having to buy another one. Oh dear me, hopefully the rain just hold off. It does say on the weather app 60% chance of rain, but I can already start to feel. Oh, this is interesting. So they're using the lifeboats as well as tenders, as well as this big, big one that we're on. But it's nice though, being able to stand and just look at your surroundings. And that was probably the quickest tender ride I've ever had in my life. Two minutes. It's, um, it's interesting because I feel like the ship could probably fit here if it really wanted to. But hey, well, who am I to judge whether we can dock here or not? So we've arrived in the old town. Literally five minute walk from the, where the tender drops you off. And now we're just admiring what this town has to offer. This is the beauty of Europe season. You come out into these ports, just walk around, take in the sights and look for some good food. This is what I love. <laughs> this is why us crew members love Europe season. It's a different vibe to the Caribbean because you know when you go to these Caribbean islands you don't really walk around too much you kind of just walk off and just lie on the beach all day. So right now I feel like this town reminds me of Shrek for some reason when they're in Never Neverland. The style of these buildings yeah definitely feeling Shrek vibes. Sorry not Never Neverland not Peter Pan. Uh, what's it in Shrek? Oh far far away. That's what I was trying to think of. But just look at these old style buildings, like the cobbled streets, these wooden windows that open out. There are just cats everywhere. They're just walking around and I don't even know if they have any owners or not, but there's so many. I'm gonna try and film some more today, but you just see the cats just kind of walking around the town. Hello, mate. How are you? I hope you're having a very nice day. I think I've seen more cats today than I have in my entire life. <laughs> oh, this one's coming up. No, I thought he was coming up to say hi. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Chris Wong vlog. Wow, I found like a whole family here. Kittens, cats. Oh, the, the kittens are so cute. They're so small. But they're just drinking the water like this. And the main dishes have arrived. So what we have here is salmon steak and tuna steak. One comes with potatoes, one comes with vegetables. Actually, no, it looks like this comes with the same thing. So this is why we love Europe season. Just spend the day walking around the town and then eating delicious food. And now we are trying to decide which dessert or which gelato flavor we want. A very, very nice selection here. Do I want the cup or the cone? I think I need the big cone. This is why we love Europe season. Let's see ice cream. Look at this. Gelato after a nice meal. Actually, to be honest, the food was kind of average. <laughs> I think we were paying for the location once again, but gelato and the beer, fantastic. And now the sun's come out. So we're just enjoying a pleasant walk now, slowly back towards the cruise ship. Maybe take some more last minute photos. And then this might be, actually I'm pretty sure this is the only time I'm gonna have 
to visit Couture Montenegro. And here we are back at the tender port or the tender station, ready to head back to Explorer of the Seas. Ah, a very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Greece. Today we're in Athens and with the Filipino Mafia today, casino slot team and host taking on, well we're going to Acropolis right now, we just arrived from the hop on hop off bus, 10 euros for crew members and now we're going to start the walk, well I guess to the Acropolis area, this is actually quite cool, a lot of history here. Well. That didn't last long. T-shirt has now been switched to the tank top. Your boy from England is getting very, very warm. The Filipino guys are it's just another day for them, you know? And uh, it doesn't even feel hot to them. How long were we in the line for? Uh, an hour, more than 40 minutes. Yeah, maybe. for 45 minutes to an hour wait in line. But we're here now on the climb to Acropolis. And the views are already looking fantastic. So here's the scenes of the hike. I would recommend wearing comfortable shoes because it is quite steep to get to the top which is where we're trying to get to over here but before we get to the actual Acropolis look at the view of the city hello Athens well this just became a hell of a lot more challenging because to try and take photos here is going to be pretty hard to get it with no people in the background so we started walking up as you can see lines going each way make your way to the top make your way to the bottom and this is what you're going to be seeing so if you guys decide to do this it was a 20 euro entry fee no discount for crew members unfortunately all right so here is the view from the top of the stairs we've now made our way into the center of this amazing sight to see yes daniel get it <laughs> So we've actually been spending quite a bit of time now in the Acropolis just taking endless amounts of photos for Instagram. This, it's, it's incredible. You just start walking through and you just want to take pictures of everything. It, again, it's something that I didn't really do much research before coming here, but I know there's a lot of a lot of stories and a lot of history to talk about in this. It's not, it's not really that big of an area, but this whole Acropolis, I think, is and these guys have taken full advantage of our day out in Athens today. Good afternoon guys and welcome back to Split Croatia. Now this is what I'm talking about. The last time we were here it was raining so heavily. Today is the hottest day of the contract so far. Nearly 30 degrees centigrade according to Google. So quite naturally decided to check out one of the close by beaches. Interesting scenes here because it's actually very minimal sand or in fact I can see no sand here but the water does look very inviting so we're gonna check out the scenes of this beach today. I've already forgot what it's called. Frederico, what's the name of this beach? Bakvice. Uh, Bakvice. Very nice beach. Frederico. Yeah, it's cold, yeah? Very cold, man. I uh, know. The water looked really inviting, but uh, it's a little colder than we uh, than we expected. But yeah, the scenes of this beach is interesting. So you can see there's, there's roughly no sand here. Or well, it's very, very dark sand. I don't know. But most of the people here are still taking advantage of this uh, this has to be the hottest day of the year there's people everywhere and it's it's monday it's not even the weekend and look how busy the beach is the vibes are very very cool actually i actually feel like i'm i'm almost on like a holiday myself so there are definitely a lot more nicer beaches in split but this is the closest one to the port which is why we came here so visually not the most pleasing looking uh, beach that there is to offer but you know it's nice for us just to get off the ship walk around change up the scenery a little bit 
and we don't actually have that much time here we did sleep in a little bit we were both working late in the casino last night so we have come out with just a few hours uh, just to catch some sun walk along the beach dip our feet in the water and now we're gonna look for something to eat so here we are at the restaurant lunch has been served burgers and fries pretty simple dish but actually looks pretty damn tasty apologies for the construction work happening right next to us but uh, look at the location wise restaurant very very nice scenery at the beach behind me so we've just finished up with lunch it was yeah it was all right it wasn't too bad uh, pretty affordable 25 euros each and now we've just located to another section of the beach which is I think a bit more pleasant a lot more calmer less busy and this is probably by far the most one of the most clear water I've seen in Europe so far this contract but here's the vibes of the beach again and we're just enjoying our last hour or so before we have to start heading back to the ship and this really is not a bad way to spend my last time in Croatia I mean I am going to be signing off in Dubrovnik so I'm not going to have any time to really you know walk around so I can definitely say I've made the most of this opportunity I've had here in this country here in this port Federico is just over here washing his feet hey dude What's up, buddy? how's your day today relaxing it's relaxing yeah really? well when we work our long hours in the casino it's nice to be here no just take sun and relax a little bit, chilling outside. Yeah. Eat. And come back to the business, yeah? Yeah, hey, that's all we do. Tonight we'll be back in the casino. So now we have to make the most of today. Oh, but it's so. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. The sound of the, the water here, very, very peaceful. Loving, loving my day today. Honestly, it's days like today where. I feel like I have the best job in the world. Look at this, this is us spending our free time just on the beach. We don't start work till later tonight because it's a late sale, so the casino can't open till at least 9 p.m. Got a spot right by the water. <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you gonna jump in? Yeah. Look how blue this water's look. What time we come in? What time we come in? Yeah, we can stay out for like 30 more minutes before we have to go back. Well, time to go back. We have all on board at 4.30 p.m. today, so a relatively short day, and it's about 3.15 right now. And we do have to walk back to the ship, which is just a bit, we're in this direction. We're just debating now if we wanna try and get some gelato. We walked past this place as we were heading back to the ship. But actually, I think we're leaving at the right time because it is getting very, very busy now middle of the day I do believe all of the kids have left school so you can see behind me it's getting very very populated and the summer season I think is officially here I mean like I said 30 degrees centigrade today and look at the vibes look where we went a different route to get back to the ship we're kind of stuck in the middle right now the ship's right there but uh, we can't figure out how to get around <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's do this. How do we get back to the ship? It's right here. I can swim across. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to Santorini. My last time in Santorini, also for Tammy as well. He's on his last cruise. So of course we're taking advantage of spending the day out in town. We got the tender across to the town where the ships are anchored and then we took, we paid for a boat tour to Oya town. And now we're getting a bus to take us up to the top 
where actual Oya is and this is the area that you see in all the movies on Instagram and I cannot wait to see it in real life. Bus ride complete and we have now made it into the town of Oya and already the views are looking just as I imagined it would be. Uh, we are trying to find the best vantage point for photos now. First things first, we found this cool looking cathedral or church of some sort and let me show you the view of what I can see at this moment in time. Look at this, look at this. Oh, hello Santorini. Welcome to Oya. This is what I'm talking about. Apologize for the wind. I can't believe Santorini is right in front of me right now. People dream of visiting this destination. I've dreamed of visiting this destination. It doesn't feel quite real that sit in front of me, in front of my eyes. Look at the scenes. Tammy, how you feeling? Mm -hmm. Great. Man. Life is good, no? Edward, how you feeling? Fantastic. My <laughs> How's the view? Oh, there's the blue roof. So we found a lot more of the blue rooftops. And you can see, trying to get the perfect photo is actually a bit of a mission. There's actually a lot of people here. It's very, very busy. But guys, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I have taken ridiculous amounts of photos today. So what I will say is, I feel like at this point in the season, every week we go out into port, it feels like it's just getting hotter and hotter. Today has to be like 30 degrees. It is... I keep saying this, every, every time I go out it's the hottest day of the year, but it really does just feel like it's getting ridiculously warm now. Today is proven to be one of the best days of my contract. Just being able to walk around Santorini, taking these pictures that I've always dreamed about seeing. But yeah, it's very, very populated right now. And we're just kind of exploring this town, taking as many photo opportunities as we can. Quite literally everywhere you turn, there is a photo opportunity to take. Now I know why this is one of the most desirable places to take your Instagram photos. I mean, look at this man. We just walk up the street and then you find new, <laughs> new views to take. Hey little guy, are you enjoying your day in the town? Yeah. Chilling. <laughs> look at this, just in the middle of the street. So we're still just walking, exploring now, doing a bit of shopping, souvenirs. That's what the main towns are like. Same with Mykonos, a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops. But we are gonna look for some gyros for lunch today. So Chris Wong has officially visited Santorini. Check it off the list. And I'm just enjoying the view one last time. Who knows when the next time I'm gonna be back here is. Like I said in my last video, maybe one day when I get married, I will come here for a honeymoon destination. It's definitely up there on my list as a potential place to be. But this is what I'm talking about. Like I only walked up the street just a couple steps and then you come across even more views. Oh my goodness, so many photo opportunities. It's absolutely insane. We're gonna try and go down here now and uh, get some good shots of the island from this angle. So we're just about finished here in Oya. We've seen everything that we want to see, but trying to find a gyro is actually proven to be a little harder than we thought. Haven't come across too many places, so we're debating now if we want to take the bus back to Freer town, which is where we started, where the cruise ships are anchored, because I do know where all the good food spots are on that side, but as for now, Oya, thank you so much for having us today. You have blessed my Instagram feed for the next I don't know, I think I'm, for the next few weeks I'm going to be posting photos from Santorini and Oya. So, good day today, now let's try and find some food. Oh yes, we cannot speak too soon, the gyros have arrived. So we're back in the town, Fira town, and all three of us got the chicken, gyros, fries, uh, cocktail sauce, vegetables. Tommy, try it. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Ed, try it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. In Greece, you have to. How's it? There we go, that's the one. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Mm. 
And there you guys have it. My time on Explorer of the Seas has come to an end. I did four cruises, four weeks in total. And once again, I am back in the airport. Currently waiting for my flight to Barcelona where I will be rejoining Symphony of the Seas tomorrow for the remainder of my contract. I actually have about five weeks left of my contract now, one month left of this contract. Where has the time gone? I can't believe I've only got just over a month left of this contract for this year. But as you can see, this is what Dubrovnik Airport is like here in Croatia. And I can honestly say everything worked out for me very well. I'm actually very happy that I got to experience this brief little adventure, let's say, on board Explorer of the Seas. Everything worked out very well for me at work. I got to visit a whole bunch of new ports, new countries. So overall, yeah, everything just worked out very well, but I am very happy to go back to Symphony of the Seas tomorrow and finish the remainder of my contract as it should be. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys, and the European adventures continue on board Symphony of the Seas once again. I've been Chris Wong. See you in my next cruise ship vlog.